Goober, come sit down and look at this brochure with me. Let's take a trip around the country. We can go to Disney World. As I've never been there before. We can visit different cities and play in arcades. We can take my car, hit the road, and explore together. Now that we're a couple, I'm pretty excited. Hmm. Well, it's the end of the semester. After our play tonight, we have the rest of spring and summer to do something. I think it would be nice if we took the time to travel together. Oh, do you remember all your lines? We don't have a lot of rehearsal time before a big play. I'd hate for us to mess up. It's embarrassing enough we have to do this at all. Uh, let's see. I'm the big bad wolf. And you're Red Riding Hood. When I enter your grandma's room, you say... Mm -hmm. You say, Grandma, what a big nose you have. And I say, No, oh, it's because of cold season. And that should work out nicely. Now... Let's go to the theater and blow those suckers away. Hey guys. How's the play coming along? It's fine, Mr. Skirmuch. We just need to add finishing touches to the set. Can you please get into the wolf costume in the back? Yeah, sure. Do you need me to help with anything else? No, we're almost done. Goober, I'll be honest with you. I'm scared. I... I feel panic setting in. And... I'll be fine, you say? Because I'm the bravest person you know. Hmm. But listener, what if my mom is in that audience? She knows I'm going to college here. You didn't see her come in. Try not to look at the audience during performance. Okay. I'll try. Thanks for helping me calm down. Okay, listener. Go assume position, and I'll lay in the bed. <laughs> Get ready to behold the best big bad wolf actor you've ever seen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the end of semester play. Tonight we are doing a version of Red Riding Hood as a romance story. Enjoy. A big nose? That's because it's cold season. That can't be, so you say. Well... So, you've seen past my cover. I see. Well, I'm no wolf either. Behold. It's me, the prince. <laughs> you may be asking why I was posing as your grandma, and I have my answer. Your grandma was planning to smite you. So I smited her first. <laughs> we can be together. Let me take your hand in mine. You thought I was a wolf? <laughs> but you thought wrong. Hmm? What's that? Well, yes, I really am the prince. The bushes aren't real, but they doth act like it. Now, let's go run away together. 
I give you the key to unlock my dark heart. Oh, you mean a lock on your chest, Ebo? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that one too. Oh my, has thine embarrassed you so? <laughs> I can make it better though. Just be mine forever and always. I'll protect you from any real wolves that try to attack you or devour your grandmother. Oh? You say you're mad I smited your grandma. <laughs> but my dear, she was horrible to you. She was a terrible old lady. And she smelled like a skunk. A smelly, rotten skunk. Plus, she tried to separate you from me. So what do you say, Red? Do you take this prince in wolf's clothing as your beloved? Hmm. Say thine word, listener. Y yes you say? <sighs> then I declare us partners for life. Why doth thou gasp? Does thou not feel for me what I feel for thou? Perhaps the riddance of your grandmother has altered your view of me? Well then, we shall be married as soon as I can convince you. I'm not a violent man. I just wanted to rid your abusive grandma for your sake. Our love feels wrong, you say. Oh, listener. I, I mean... <clears throat> oh, Red. Smiting your grandma was a one-time thing. I'll never do it again. So what do you say? Give this prince another chance at your love. Do it, sure smooch. Ha! <laughs> I can't kiss a bush. But, I guess I can share the experience with thee. My turn, and now here's the big bad wolf. Prepare to be blown away. I'm your big bad wolf. Let us play. Cause you love been stopping and the prince poor who's wrong now. Don't worry, Red. I'm going to save you. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, Evanescence, stand back. That wolf is no match for me. I'm free now. It's just noxy. I am the big bad wolf. I've won the hearts of every girl in town, even the princes fall for my charms. But it appears that you, Mr. Scaramouche, was the first werewolf to win Red's heart. Don't be surprised, Red. He believes I'm a werewolf, but I'm actually human. He must have seen my little disguise earlier while smiting your grandma. And thought I was a real one. <laughs> Oh, you say I'm too handsome to be human. <laughs> yeah, I'm human all right. Now, Mr. Big Bad Wolf, fight me. I got you Woo. Woo. Oh no, he summoned a wolf pack. I see. This is quite the pickle. Quite the pickle? Why did Zhang Li put that in the script? It's corny. Red, please stay behind me. I'll fight to the best of my ability. Don't fear it. You'll be safe with Oh, I don't know about that. They're surrounding us. Be quiet, you bastards. Oh. 
Hop on my dragon, quickly. Don't forget me, boy. Darn. Wow, that was so stupid. I never want to be in a play again. I had so many lines. Also, why did Zhong Li add smiting grandma to the script? Can he be trusted around Madame Ping? Yes, Madame Ping is the headmaster of the school. Have you never met? Interesting. I've been sent to meet her more times than I'd like to admit. The reason being previous, fights with Xiao. Anyways, shall we go home, listener? Archon's untired. It's good to be back home. I'm glad you had to do this stupid play with me. Listener. I hope you had fun with it. Oh, yeah. Here's your key. You left it back at the theater, so I grabbed it for you. Ugh, finally I can sit down. That play made me so sore. Goober. Come cuddle me. It was a garbage play, Goober. But you were great, Red. <laughs>